two cats and I like to video a daily life in Okinawa so if that sounds fun to you stay tuned um, it's already about to be noon I actually woke up pretty early I woke up at 7 o'clock today because it's my day off so I didn't wake up too too early but just enough to have like a nice productive morning I went to the gym I went for a walk stretched drinking my protein shake right now and I just had a good morning today I'm thinking about going to the mall by myself Maybe kind of the theme of this video is showing a solo day in okinawa because i feel like doing things on your own can be quite intimidating especially like being in a relationship or being married or being a military spouse in my case and being in a foreign country that adds like a whole other layer to it but i have learned over the past two years of being here that I actually like spending time with myself and I like going out and doing things on my own. There's something that's empowering about it but also very therapeutic to me. I encourage you to take a little step to do something by yourself and maybe you might find that you like spending time by yourself as well. So if you needed that sign, this is your sign to go do something on your own without anybody else. You can grab your AirPods, go for a walk, go to the mall like I am or do whatever you want to do. But you might enjoy it. It's already noon and all I've had today was like a pre-workout meal and my protein shake. So I think I'm going to make a coffee so I don't have to buy one when I'm out. And then we'll head over to the mall and get some lunch and then go shopping from there. This is the mall fit. These are jeans from American Eagle. I just got this bodysuit from Lulu's. And it is literally my uniform. I wear black with jeans every single day. <laughs> Some sort of variation of it, but it just works. But I'm thinking I'm gonna put this on top because Japanese people are pretty conservative. And so if I, I mean, I could walk around with my shoulders showing, but I feel like it's probably better if I. So this is the fit, got my coffee. And we'll head out now. Alrighty, I just got to the mall. I'm getting ready to go inside. A little tip, if you've never gone to the mall by yourself and it like overwhelms you, bring AirPods, put a podcast or like music on, just go in your little world and you'll notice that things are less intimidating when you're just like vibing by yourself. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put my podcast on and then we're gonna choose somewhere to eat for lunch. I'm thinking sushi, cause it's like nice and somewhat healthy, but who knows? They have quite a few options inside. So let's go.
will keep you safe while you were dreaming. You could scream and shout, cry a thousand tears, and I wouldn't let fear win. But you feel I feel together we're healing. I don't care the seasons change. Cause darling, I'll stay, I'll stay, I'll stay right here with you. That was super nice. I literally put my AirPods and I was just vibing by myself. I got pretty much everything I was looking for except I was looking for a jewelry box and I didn't find that, but it's okay. Anyways, I wanna get home because I wanna beat traffic, so I'll show you guys what I get, what I got when we get home. All right, back from the store, we're gonna do a little haul. Do you not want your stuff? He doesn't want to be in the video. <laughs> this place the wall. I got a new fruit bowl. This is from Muji, by the way. I went to my favorite skincare store, Sui Savan, and these products are made in Okinawa, I believe, and I am obsessed with their face mask that I use as like a face wash and their sleep mask. There we go. That's what it looks like. If you're looking for like Japanese skincare and you want to support a local brand, that's a good brand too. And then they also had a body mist of the face mask I use. So I thought, why not? And it smells really good. And they gave us, a, they gave me a little sample of their shampoo and conditioner. So I'm excited to try that. I honestly didn't get that much stuff. I got new house shoes. I'm so excited. I've been literally using the same house shoes for like over six months and they were 800 yen. These were a little bit, these were 1300 yen. So a little bit nicer than the ones I currently, oh, the ones that I currently have. And then at Uniqlo, I got this like crop top. It's like a long lined bra, but I can wear it as like a crop top situation. Very cute. And I guess that's everything I got. So nothing crazy. The apron's on, so you know what time it is. But first, if I don't feed Pepper like right now, she's literally gonna, she's gonna lose it. Are you hungry? <laughs> okay. I don't remember if I showed in my last video what I feed my cats. So if you have cats and this is interesting, stay tuned if you don't. I apologize, skip ahead, I guess. We do wet food and dry food, but I try to do mainly wet food and only supplement with the dry food because the wet food is so good for them and the dry food is not as good for them. For their food, I do give them each half a can of this Tiki Cat, which is grain free and it has tuna, whitefish, and pumpkin in it. So we do one egg between the two of them. They're not, quail eggs are kind of hard to crack, so don't mind that. And then I'll do half of this egg in this bowl. I know it looks disgusting, but they love it. And then we'll do half a can of cat food and then half a can for the other. And then we just mix it all together. I know, baby. I have the most dramatic cat. But that's okay. We love the drama. Uh-huh. Sit. 
set. Good girls. There we go. So we have salad, peanut sauce, chicken saute, and then Aiden has rice because he wants rice, and then the poise, of course. I look so rough, like a wet dog. <laughs> Good morning. It is already 11.30. As you can see, we had a nice productive morning this morning. I wanted to wake up earlier because I do work morning shift Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I just wanted to get in like an earlier schedule. Not that seven o'clock is late, but it just like, I would like to wake up at six. But I have zero recollection of my alarm going off and then I woke up and it was seven o'clock and I was like, dang. So it's fine. I ended up still going to the gym and it was honestly super not busy. Like there was literally no one in the CrossFit room. So the things on the list today to do is I have a lot of schoolwork to get done. I have a discussion. I have an assignment to do that I want to get done so that I can start editing a video that I want to get out by Sunday because I'm just trying to get consistent with it. Also, we have to pay our road tax today. And I need to pick up some books for my professor, so all together it's just going to be like a productive day. What I'm doing right now is I'm we're having steaks for dinner tonight, so I'm seasoning the steaks now so that they're like nice and marinated later. <laughs> super beautiful yesterday and it's literally storming today but welcome to Okinawa the plan now is to pretty much just be as productive as I possibly can for the next hour run errands then come back home and be really productive for maybe another hour or two and then hopefully I can edit my video because that's what I really want to do because I'm really enjoying editing. It's hard. It's definitely hard and it's very time consuming. But I want to make it a priority. It's just hard when I have like school and stuff as well. So it's okay. Let's get it done. Matilda has joined. Hi baby. I know it's scary outside, isn't it, my love? If you're moving to Okinawa, I highly recommend getting a nice, light raincoat because you saw the state of outside. An umbrella just doesn't cut it because umbrellas go inside out every single time. Like, I have not had an umbrella that doesn't go inside out. So, you need one where you can really just wrap yourself up like a tamale or burrito or whatever. Okay, let's go run errands. Remember how it was storming literally an hour ago? Like typhooning, not just raining. Look at the weather now. Blue skies up in here. That's Okinawa for you. All right, we just got a road tax done. I picked up my books and it was honestly, everything went really smooth. Compared to some other years we've done road tax, which have been very stressful, this year was very easy. But it is already 2.30 and we both haven't eaten anything today. Actually, no. I had a pre-workout toast with peanut butter this morning and a protein shake, but I'm like, I need food food. So I just made leftovers from our meal last night, which has been quite a hit. 
I did chicken saute, peanut sauce, and then I made a little salad with the pickles that I made. And then Aiden has rice for his. And we've just been loving this meal, so I'm happy to eat it again. Sorry if you can hear the dryer, but we're about to start work again. But I wanted to do a little kombucha taste test because this is one of the cool things about having base access while living in Japan is I try to get most of my food off base, but there's fun things like kombucha or, you know, other American products that it's nice to have access to. I'm just gonna do half of this because there's 16 grams of sugar in there, so I don't wanna do the whole thing. And this is a pomegranate flavor. It doesn't taste very pomegranate-y, pomegranate but I've noticed with this brand it's not too sweet. So maybe they just don't put as much juice in it, but it tastes very good. I would recommend. Maybe like a 7 out of 10. outside they're just making a ruckus but it's fine um i just wanted to be real so i am recording my weekly vlog that will hopefully be up soon but so because i'm new to this like i'm still getting used to like recording myself talking to myself whatever and it is so difficult to edit yourself when you don't like what you're saying or you don't like what you're doing and it's not like you can just redo it like you either keep it in or you don't i don't know if i'm just like recording too much or talking too much or what and i keep getting insecure because i know i talk a lot in my videos but at the same time like if i didn't talk a lot that would be inauthentic to me because i'm a talker i'm an introvert but i'm a talker like i like to talk see <laughs> bless me anyways i'm also noticing that in my videos i come off so serious and i'm not like that at all like i'm 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 funny like i'm goofy and i really need to be better about like showing that in my videos but this weekly vlog i'm just so like okay now i'm going to clean the house and now blah 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 and i don't want to sound like that but i can't redo it and i like the footage that i got i think i just need to upload it after i edit it and just recognize that not every video is going to be perfect because i'm still new to this but it just stinks because i'm like ugh, i know what i need to do now i just can't go back in time and redo it so whatever we're gonna continue editing and i'm gonna get ready for work soon it is Friday, already eight o'clock. I absolutely failed at vlogging today because I literally woke up, edited, went to work, got home, edited, and now it's eight o'clock. 
And also, Aiden's busy too. Just building a computer, casually. <laughs> we were originally planning on going to a restaurant, but we just both got on our work grind, so it's just not happening. So guess where we're going? McDonald's! <laughs> Kambawa, hello. Hello, what was it like to order? 1980. This is actually a super um, unique occasion because Aiden loves McDonald's and he gets it a lot, but I usually opt for a kumbini meal instead, or I just don't go because I'm not really a fast food girly. But tonight we're just feeling the McDonald's. I just felt like getting crazy. So let's see how it is. All right, we're back home and it's time for a taste test. I'm doing this in the kitchen because my table is currently occupied by Aiden's computer. But let me show you what we got. We both got Kuz, which is like a grape juice, like a Japanese grape juice. We both got double cheeseburgers. I want a double cheeseburger and hold the lettuce. And he got double patties on his, because you can double it for, I think, pretty cheap. Pepper wants McDonald's. Mm. French fries. Chicken nuggets. But I really wanted sweet and sour sauce, but I guess they don't do that here. So I got barbecue sauce. Alana, if you're watching, LOL. Let's do a taste test. And like I said, this is not a usual thing for me. So this kind of feels like a genuine taste test because I don't, I literally never eat McDonald's. Ooh, paper straw, eco-friendly McDonald's, okay. I haven't had a sugary beverage in so long other than kombucha. All right, we'll start with the fries. I mean, typical McDonald's french fries. Next, we have our burger. The presentation. I wish I got extra pickles because I love McDonald's pickles. Hmm. Your average McDonald's cheeseburger. And this is what I'm excited about because I never eat chicken nuggets. Like. I literally couldn't tell you the last time I had a chicken nugget. I wish I could compare them to the American ones because I honestly don't know what they taste like, but. Ooh. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a chicken nugget. We're gonna eat this food. I'm gonna edit a video and we'll see you in the morning.